extremely critical. As you know, you have artificial intelligence, uh, the environmental side of things are all very critical and uh, they have to be uh, at the heart of all new developments. But how is artificial intelligence being used? It is being used today uh, to uh, identify things like uh, maintenance. So you have what's called predictive maintenance. You can use artificial intelligence to predict mechanical failures before they happen. But that reduces significantly your failure rate, uh, increases your efficiency, makes your costs uh, less, and makes the environment, the operating environment, safer for the people around it. So technology has always been an important part of how the oil industry has progressed. Now you add the challenges of the environment, again, technology here becomes extremely important. You know, you, we have to realize that we still have equipment that is considered old. Replacing it means you would have higher efficiency, better emission standards, uh, less failure. All of these things are important to keep in mind when you make investments today. As you know, the ESG part of, uh, of projects now is essential for financing. It is becoming part of the rule book of funding these mega projects. Uh, carbon is an important factor in all of this, and the concept of the circular carbon economy now is part and partial of all the uh, oil and gas sectors of the region. Uh, they're taking it very seriously. And in Bahrain, we have been actively pursuing this, being a small island state, who is uh, usually considered more affected by the impact of climate change. We are uh, collaborating with entities like the Green Climate Change Fund, uh, trying to bring a lot of the environmental projects into the oil and gas industry and calling it ultimately the circular carbon economy.